Uh, sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often, they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor! Uh, and you are? Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Uh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people, or...? Paimo was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimo wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Uh, well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Mung, I'm back. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. 
I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. Like, how would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, it, sorry, excuse me, is this Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Cheng. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that... It's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon! Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm... No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. So, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful god's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. 
I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. You're on to something. After all, we're only afraid of what we don't know. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time, we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. Anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. Oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. Uh, how can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes, I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Oh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Ah, oh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked! Uh, uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. So riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse... wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. 
I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again, so I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This? Is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do.